Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Mass Effect. Anyone, anyone know how badass the Joker is? Or how badass Joker is? Or Jeff Moreau is? He's so badass he can pilot the ship backwards! <laughs> yes, Shepard. I know, I, I just, I just done it pretty hilarious. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than in your men. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? Yeah. In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. <laughs> the elusive man has Fucking monitoring devices on board. He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Oh, that's that's creepy. Let's Ready. discuss some. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator pods are FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. <laughs> I like Joker. <laughs> that's all. I like now. Jeff. Logging you out, Shepard. I'm just gonna call him Moreau. But now I'm actually awake to see everything. God damn it, this is refined. Mmm, that's boring though. There's little details like this that make the shit pop. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Also, hang on. This is the best place in the game. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. But this time around, um, sexy is our game. Evolve any power. Yeah, I think there's actually like an achievement for actually playing the achievement. Actually playing like a fucking. Since we need the scientist to do this, but I'm not personally going to get him for a little while. So I want to make sure I do everything beforehand before I actually go off and just do this shit. No, copyright music. Okay, we good. We good.
God damn it. <laughs> we got a toilet. We got a fucking toilet. Oh shit, we got a shitter. <laughs> I could take a poop in my own quarters and get drunk at the same time. It's a fucking miracle. <laughs> Love this thing. Anyway, if you're going here. The men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. Yeah, we're in the women's restroom. We can actually go in the women's restroom. I find that really fucking hilarious that we could do that in this game. Oh, she's a beauty. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Wow, well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. You know, it's little details like this that make me love Mass Effect even more. Especially since we, especially since we actually get to see the crew quarters in this game. It's the last one that you didn't get to see it at all. Access to life support is restricted. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. Yep. I'm a person who don't have any of that. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Aw, oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the fucking list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands, most of the time. Ew. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Uh, How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Fucking nasty ass son of a bitch. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. 
Only Cerberus knows that. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Yep. So, so we can actually do little things that would actually detrimentally help us. That is not particularly one of them. But there is something very important that you have to do. Otherwise, you might accidentally kill everybody in engineering and lose one crew member. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, oh, personnel sure. must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Ah, shit, I love that. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. Chakwas. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserve. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Bitch, I have 10 million credits! Doctor, you've been with the Alliance <laughs> for years. It doesn't fucking matter. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. I would have the rich achievement ten times Colonial over. Colonial military life isn't for you. I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engine. Life planet side is just too static. Too boring. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Commander. Yep, there's still a little bit of that audio glitch inside Mass Effect, but I really don't care. And so, I mean, you can actually go to them directly and ask for Normandy upgrades. Commander, what can I do for you? I know, it is very important that you do that. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... 
accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shep. No pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most of you do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. <laughs> what level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Just that fat ass. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, damn, she's thick. Mm, I'd break her in half with my shepherd dick. <laughs> you got my commander shepherd now, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I could give you my Commander Shepard in ten days and one uh, half off my dick. And here's the monitoring station. <clears throat> we don't take her back to this place yet, but we will in the third game. I don't know why the fuck there's a bed down here. I think it's little details like this. I me love Mass Effect even more. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, but this is kind of serious, though. This is, these are the two I was talking about. You want to talk to them. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, 
You're boring the commander with tech. No, in short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Yeah, it started boring you with tech. That's what he's saying. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Are you set up okay Outside of here? anything else? Are you set up okay Outside of those T6... I bet you anything else? Them. Where did you Both receive Gabby She and flew in the first wave... Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat. As a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seem to be doing that. How did you end up with Cerberus, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in Canada since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. <laughs> I like to jump on her, you know what, what I mean? <laughs> Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> How did you end up with Kenneth Cerberus? and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. Thanks, Mom. Also, I love engines. So how did you get an offer to join Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Carry on. Well do, Commander. Yeah, we need to find these actually, because these are very important for our mission. Came down to see us. I told you he would. It's it's very important that you talk to everybody consistently throughout the game. But you know, not consistently for the the NPC party their non party members. Oh hey baby. No messages for you, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Mm. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of prep. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Uh, yeah, uh... <sighs> you make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? 
How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the new galaxy map. Anyway, um, this actually works a little bit differently than what you actually, what you would actually presume. Since technically we can actually go do all of these objectives or none of them, what I'm actually going to do first is I'm not going to go to the professor right away because you know, even though that might unlock something for me, it will hinder me gravely for the stuff I'm actually going to do. So. I hope that did it, my game froze.